Life is always precarious. At some point you must encounter stress. Kama hauna stress ya pesa, uko na stress ya familia. Kama hauna stress ya familia, uko na stress ya kazi. Kama hauna stress ya kazi, uko na stress ya mapenzi, you know. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Dimora and kindly don't forget to subscribe. And for the ones who have subscribed, I really appreciate. I can't thank you enough. So today we're going to talk about a very important aspect of life that is stress management. So stress normally is your body and mind's reaction to a real or imagined threat or even an event and sometimes a change. So this change, this event, this threat is what we call a stressor. And stressors can be internal or even external. Normally internal stressors, they come from within. Normally we worry about things we can't even change. For example, it can be thoughts, attitudes, or even beliefs. And when we talk about external stressors, entirely we focus on our environment and our surroundings. For example, it can be a change. Maybe we move na hama, like over a short notice, you're supposed to move to a different place. Or even you've lost your job. Or even sometimes a tragedy. We have two levels of stress. There's eustress and there's distress. Eustress is a positive stress whereby Mostly, unapata uko stress to an extent, you really have to work hard to achieve whatever you want. And sometimes you stress, this positive stress unapata somehow, maybe you're planning for vacation and you're, that, you're so excited to an extent, you can't wait for that day. So that excitement is what we call you stress. A you stress, a good example again, it can be maybe for the gamblers, umeshinda loto. You see that excitement that comes immediately you receive the news. That one is what we call a eustress. Then the distress, which is a negative stress. Unlike eustress, distress is kind of destructive. To some people, they can't cope with their day-to-day -day activities. Stress in a kuchapadi, maybe. You can't even be able to go to work. Sometimes when they can't be able to talk. Now that's when depression comes in and all those. So an example of distress, maybe we have kind of this divorce or maybe you've lost your job, sometimes financial issues and all those. And by the way, stress is contagious. Naturally, human beings, we mimic some things from the people we often spend more time with. For example, facial expressions. Imagine, kuna watu ukikana mtu sana, you'll find that even their mannerisms, the way they speak, you do the same. And when it comes to stress, it can be spread from one person to another. For example, a husband comes from work, very stressed maybe. Ametoa stress zake pale kazini, ameleta nyumbani. Wewe kama bibi yake, ukimpokea, anakumuagia zile stress, maybe wila anakongelesha and all that. And there's very high chances when a child comes near you, maybe your kid comes, akikongelesha, hauta mjibisha vizuri, that means ile stress imetoka from the husband all the way adi kwa mtoi. And then in a workplace setting, your boss comes in very stressed. Ni asubui na mapema. Ukenda kumsalimia, anakujibu vila anajisikia. The same goes down the line. Your colleague comes in na kikusalimia. Maybe juu kwa stress, unafikiria ni mefanya nini boss? Unapata maybe amekusalimia haujasikia, haujamjibu back. He or she will go back wondering, amekufanyia nini? The same applies. So unapata the circle, imeenda from one person to another, ina rotate the entire workplace. Stress ina kwanga na three stages. There's a first stage we call alarm stage. Alarm stage is that point when you receive the stressor. A good example is maybe you've been told, kazi yako imeisha. So that moment you receive that bad news is now we call is now what we call alarm stage from there it moves to the second stage whereby we call resistance stage in this stage your body tries to fight the stressor 
you think about maybe getting another job, you think about maybe starting your own business and all that. So from resistance stage, it goes to exhaustion phase. And this stage, this is the last stage of stress whereby things like depression comes in upon you na skia. Watu wamefanya vitu weird. Sijui bwana alichinja sijui watoto wake with the family members some very weird stories. So if you really want to fight your stress, it is very advisable you try as much as possible you fight it as you receive it. Ikienda sana kwa resistance stage you kill it. Unaimaliza, usikubali kumalize. And how can you tell one is stressed? There are some of the signs and symptoms of stress. They are categorized in four levels. We have mental ones, we have behavioral ones, we have physical ones and then we have emotional ones. Mental ones we have examples of them we have poor concentration unaita mtu like three times ndiana ana realize you are cold and then we have undue tiredness unamkatu kama umechoka ama ni asubuhi umefika kazini umechoka tu like naturally and then we have indecisiveness you can't be able to make a decision and then we have maybe sometimes loss of confidence the physical signs and symptoms of stress we have sometimes dry mouth there can be high pitched voice what wengine they have diarrhea or even frequent urination emotional signs and symptoms of stress we have irritability there is anxiety there is depression or even irrational fear and then the behavioral signs and symptoms of stress we have maybe workaholism kuna watu ni wakati wa kuna stress ndio wanajua ku extend pale kazini maybe to try to avoid that stress we have a absenteeism kuna mtu mwenye akiwa na stress hata kazi yasiki kwenda then there is increased or decreased drinking or even smoking kuna watu wengine wakiwa na stress wanafikiria alcohol is the solution lete pombe you know when you are stressed alcohol is never a solution alcohol it only postpones that stress ukirudi sober back to stress so the best thing you can do think about managing the stress rather than postponing the stress anyway calls if you can't deal with it it will definitely deal with you another behavioral sign and symptom of stress is increased or decreased appetite kuna watu wakiwa na stress ndio wanajua kukula vizuri we call it stress eating unapata mtu amenona from stress i know it's crazy but yeah and then kuna wengine akiwa na stress they can't be able to eat appetite inapotea kabisa and then we have increased or decreased libido mm-hmm. now that you've understood what is stress let's try to understand what we can do when you're stressed i mean how we can manage our stress when fighting stress it's either you improve your ability to carry that stressor or you think about reducing the stressor you need to become aware of yourself, your stresses and your reactions. Ujua ni nini na ku stress. Number 2, get to know what to do when you're stressed. At least whatever that helps you to relieve that stress. For example, mtu kama mimi when I'm stressed, I think about taking a walk. And sometimes I I, I listen to loud music and dance at the same time. And other times maybe I decide to sleep. So it's very important to know what you can do when you're stressed so that you can be able to engage yourself in that activity to be able to relieve you from the stress you're undergoing. Part of getting to to know yourself, you still need to know your temperament. We have four basic temperaments which are subdivided under two categories. We have the extroverts and the introverts. Under the extroverts, we have the sanguines they are really outgoing wale wakongea sana yeye akikuja kwako si lazima muonyeshe kwenye unaeka kikombe ya maji atakuwa ameshakimbia amechukua amechota maji akaanza kukunywa sanguins kwa matatu si lazima mjuane mwenye amekaa kanda ya from now a story kameshika you know they are really outgoing then we have the cholerics cholerics are domineering they like talking but they really enjoy talking with like-minded people 
And then we have the phlegmatics and the extroverts in this case. They are very calm. Eh? Then we have the melancholics who are very quiet. They prefer not talking, you know. Sometimes when I'm telling nod instead of answering you. The quiet type. There is really a lot into temperaments. Maybe I'll talk about that some other day, but at least try to know where you belong, okay? If you really want to know how to deal with your stress perfectly, at least try as much as possible to build your physical reserves. That is, try to, to exercise at least two to thrice a week, you know? Because if you do that, you are kind of keeping fit. And if you keep fit, you can as well try as much as possible to take a balanced diet and the process of keeping fit. I mean, building a health body. So how is this even correlated to stress? This is what we call endorphins. Normally, they are neurotransmitters that act like messengers from the body to the brain. So when you build these endorphins, they, they more of try as much as possible to, to be strong. And this once this message is strong, the moment you know what stress, kunaile message is in a tumor endorphins in a layman's language to help you find the stress as well. And like kume kwa na sedentary lifestyle, umekula mafuta, kifuwa yako imeja mafuta, and you are there, unajaribu kupigana na stress, even the Endorphins is make a tour because they go kind of inactive, you know. When we exercise, at least you maintain ideal weight. This is what we call BMI body mass index. Basically, if you want to calculate your BMI, I know, kuna watu sabu. Naturally, their brain cells die. So this is not calculation, eh? So you take your weight in kilograms, you divide by your height in meters squared. Ideal is around 25. So kama yaku inachezea that, eh? <laughs> Do something. And lastly, at least you try to get enough sleep. You know, sleep is important. At least it kind of refreshes our mind, relaxes our bodies and all that. So you really need that sleep. And build your emotional reserves. Build mutually supportive friendships, you know. Be your friend. Expect some frustrations in life, you know. It might be quite smooth, you know. And sometimes let's try to at least choose our stress. I mean, to jaribu kuchagua stress. Angalia kitu enye nafai kustress. Si kila kitu nafai kustress. You know, there's a point na unanga mtu wakuna stress at mtu waja muangelesha. Really? Seriously? As in, mm -hmm. let's try to moderate our physical and emotional reactions to stressors. Ukiwa na stress, try as much as possible to maintain who you are. Usikubali yo stress iku, ikuleme sana. You know, sometimes when a person is under stress, at a kiongeleshwa, at a kujibu bila naskia, or even kama nimtoya neza mwekelea coffee, that is wrong. Try as much as possible to maintain your emotional and physical reactions to stress. And lastly, try as much as possible to recognize what you can change. If there is nothing you can do about it, kindly don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And um, you can leave a comment as well. And you can also share the link to this video. And you can tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Bye-bye. Till next time.